While walking around in the dungeon, Joseph and the newbies hear something move in the forest. When the newbies turned around to check out the situation, they see a bunch of angry goblins running towards them with weapons. One of the goblins got close to the girl among them. The girl who happens to be a magician was terrified to see this. She tried to use her wand to defend herself. Fortunately for her, Joseph stabbed the goblin and saved her. He told the newbies to not be scared of a mere goblin. The newbies were very happy to hear this. In their eyes, Joseph was like a hero to them. Joseph told them to take a stance and prepare to fight the weak goblins. Immediately he said this, he contemplates on how he is lucky to have brought a long sword to the dungeon. He believed that he will be able to kill the goblins easily with his sword. As he prepares to attack the goblins, he noticed that his sword was stuck inside the goblin he stabbed. While struggling to remove his weapon, a goblin attacks him on the head with a huge stick. Joseph falls in the middle of the newbies. The newbies were shocked to see this. They could not believe that the man who was supposed to protect them was on the floor. The goblins moved close to Joseph and began to stab him. Joseph begged the newbies to save him. The newbies were shocked to hear this. They could not believe that the man who was supposed to protect them was begging for their help. The two men summoned their courage and rushed to attack the goblins. The scene shifts and we see someone slash a goblin. The other goblin was terrified to see this. The person who killed the goblin is Wu Jin. After seeing how Wu Jin had killed its comrades, the last goblin tried to run away. Unfortunately for it, Wu Jin used his whip to grab the goblin's neck. He tightened the whip around the goblin's neck and strangled it to death. The moment the goblin died, Wu Jin leveled up. After leveling up, Wu Jin receives a message from the system. The system tells him that the Dark World surrogate is interested in him, and he has obtained an achievement called Striving Higher. Wu Jin smiles after leveling up. He says that the goblins are weaker than he thought. We see a large amount of dead goblins around Wu Jin. While looking at his whip, Wu Jin says that only stupid people will bring in heavy sword to fight goblins. He believes that a whip should be enough. The scene shifts and we see Joseph and the newbies covered in injuries. One of the newbies asks Joseph if he knows how Wu Jin is doing. Joseph tells the man that Wu Jin is probably dead because they have not received an update about his situation. While the girl was shaking in fear, the other man told Joseph that he is stupid for sending Wu Jin away. He told Joseph that an extra hand would have helped them in their situation. Joseph was angry to hear this. He and the other newbies began to argue. While they were arguing, they hear an odd sound in the woods. They immediately stood up and got into position. The scene shifts and we see Wu Jin leveling up while standing in the middle of some dead goblins. After leveling up, Wu Jin acquired a skill called Skeleton Disease. After getting the skill, he calls out for a book called Catalog. He picked up his new skill which was given to him in form of a paper from the catalog. Wu Jin was surprised to see his new skill. He could not believe that he was able to acquire such a precious skill. Wu Jin was surprised to see the skill because it was one of the most powerful skills of the Yohan Jork, the Immortal King. The skill allowed Yohan to control an army of undead. While the skill was very powerful, it had a major flaw. This flaw allowed others to attack Yohan. There was also a lot of restrictions that came with the skill, for example, only monsters killed directly by the caster can be used as an undead. Wu Jin decided to acquire the skill. He tore the paper and the system notified him that he has gotten the F-rank skill called Skeleton Disease. Because Wu Jin just attained the skill, he was only allowed to summon one undead. He walked up to one of the goblins he killed and placed his hand above its head. Immediately he did this, his skill was activated and a bright light shined from his hand. The moment the light shined from his hand, the goblin shed its skin and awoken as an undead soldier. Wu Jin was happy to see his new undead. He liked the deadly look in the eyes of his undead goblin. After seeing how his new undead soldier killed a goblin, Wu Jin says that he is disappointed with its performance. He wonders if the soldier's performance is poor because his magic stats is too low. He placed his hand on the undead's head and says that it is too weak for him to use as his main attack ability. While looking around, he sees the dead bodies of different players who have been to this dungeon dangling from a tree. While looking at the different corpses, he says that all monsters have one thing in common. They exist to inflict harm on people. He knows that there is no way goblins would go easy on new players, thanks to this. He believes that he does not need to be merciful towards any monster. The scene shifts and we see Joseph and his team gather around a fire. Joseph said that he cannot believe that he lost to mere goblins. The newbies ignored the statement and asked him for their next course of action. One of the newbies told Joseph that they were too relaxed when they came into the dungeon. Instead of listening to the newbie, Joseph was focused on the fact that he could not be killed by mere goblins. He stood up and said that he will not die in such a pitiful way. The newbies were surprised when they looked at Joseph. 
Joseph told them that while they struggled to get to this point, they can certainly defeat the dungeon. Joseph asked them about why they are so silent. With a surprised look on their faces, the newbies asked Joseph to look above his head. When Joseph looked above his head, he saw a level-up notification. He was surprised to see the notification because he and the newbies were not fighting any goblins, so it will be impossible for them to level up. Joseph knows that the only time one's level increases even though they are idle is when a party member is still fighting. Joseph immediately realized that Wujin is still alive and he is killing the goblins. The scene shifts and we see Wujin holding a torch while standing next to a large amount of wood. Wujin smiles and says that this is the most effective method of killing goblins. He says that no method can be as easy as the one he is about to use. He throws his torch at the large amount of wood. The woods began to burn at a fast rate in the goblins' cave, the goblins noticed that a large amount of smoke was getting into the cave. The goblins began to suffocate to death due to the smoke. The goblins that were still alive picked themselves up and ran. Unfortunately for the goblins, when they arrived at the entrance of the cave, they found it covered with burning wood. They tried to force their way out of the cave, but they could not get out due to the fire. Wujin smiled when he saw how the goblins were struggling. He says that this is a tribute to the dead players. After the fire went out and the goblins were destroyed, Wujin looked around and noticed something weird. He brings out his whip and says that he expected to see its face after he burnt the other goblins. He wonders if the creature was hiding in another place. As he and his undead were about to walk away, a giant monster came out of the ground. With a look of anger on his face, Wujin told the monster that he was already getting tired of the dungeon. He thanks the monster, which is called a goblin champion, for coming out to fight him. While looking at the monster, Wujin said that a lot of newbies lost their lives in this dungeon in the past thanks to the Goblin Champion. He said that for a normal Goblin dungeon to have an hidden boss is like having a Grim Reaper in the dungeon for newbies. He opens his inventory and brings out a sword. He said that the dungeon will no longer have any victims. When the undead soldier saw Wujin bring out his sword, it stood in front of Wujin. Wujin was surprised to see this. He wondered if the soldier was waiting for a chance to attack. The undead turned around and looked at Wujin with a cold gaze in its eyes. Wujin was surprised to see the look in the undead's eyes. He leaned on a tree and gave the goblin his sword. The goblin held the sword firmly and charged towards the goblin champion. It moved in between the legs of the goblin champion. It cut the calves of the goblin champion. Wujin was shocked to see this. The scene shifts and we see an event that took place in the past. A bunch of players are fighting a huge monster that was surrounded by fire. The players were frightened to see the monster. They could not believe that their guild wanted them to fight such a beast. The captain of the players told them to focus their attacks on its legs in order to increase their chances of winning. The captain of this players was Wu Jin. Wu Jin unsheathed his sword and focused his attacks on the monster's leg. After remembering the method he used to attack the giant monster, he became certain that his goblin soldier has copied his methods. The goblin champion fell on its knees after the undead destroyed its leg. When the undead saw that the goblin champion was on its knees, it moved to the blind spot of the goblin. Wujin was surprised to see this. He became certain that the undead was using his methods to fight. The undead jumped up and stabbed the goblin champion on its head just like Wujin did in his past life. Wujin was happy to see how his undead fought. He could not believe that his undead could copy his combat style. He said that he used all kinds of weapons in his past life. He was certain that no one in the Messiah Guild could defeat him in a one-on-one -on -one match. He was happy when he realized that his undeads will be able to copy his combat style. After the undead defeated the monster, Wujin received a notification from the system. He received a legendary rank skill from the Agent of the Dark World. Wujin was surprised to see this. He could not believe that he was able to obtain this skill at his current level. The scene shifts and we see someone tell the manager that the dungeon is cleared. The manager was shocked to hear this. He immediately ran outside to confirm by himself. He was surprised to see Joseph and the newbies stepping out of the dungeon. He could not believe that the dungeon was cleared in a day. The medics and doctors immediately attended to Joseph and the newbies. The manager walked up to the players and asked them about Wu Jin. Joseph and the newbies did not know how to answer the manager. The manager assumed that Wu Jin was dead due to their silence. While everyone was quiet, one of the personnel tells the manager that someone else is stepping out of the dungeon. The manager and the players were shocked to hear this. Immediately, Wu Jin stepped out of the dungeon. The dungeon disappeared. Wu Jin did not stop to check up on the other guys. He walked towards the exit. The manager ran after Wu Jin. Joseph was shocked to see that Wu Jin was able to clear a dungeon by himself. He became curious about Wu Jin's identity. 
In the next scene, we see a woman in a television complaining about the tyranny of players. The woman said that desires of players are increasing because the players are the only ones who can close dungeons. She said that the only guild that is good is the Messiah Guild because they did not ask for compensation when they cleared the fifth floor dungeon. Joseph looked at his phone and found out that the news was only talking about the Messiah Guild. He was angry to see this. He told his friend that the news always make the other players look like trash who only care about money. His friend told him not to pay any attention to the news because this is what they always do. His friend asked him about the dungeon he currently cleared. Joseph told him that his experience in the dungeon was bad because of Wu Jin. His friend asked him to explain what he means. Joseph pointed at the injury on his head and told his friend that Wu Jin was the one who caused the injury. His friend was surprised to hear this. He asked Joseph if the rumor about Wu Jin is true. Joseph told him that it is. He told his friend that Wu Jin rushed into a herd of goblins because he wanted to get some items. He told his friend that he got injured when he tried to save Wu Jin. His friend was annoyed to hear this. He told Joseph to report Wu Jin to the guild so that he can be punished. Joseph told his friend to not worry about it. He told him that Wu Jin was probably desperate for money. His friend told him that he will spread the news about Wu Jin's behavior so that he won't act the same somewhere else. The scene shifts and we see Wu Jin looking at a board which had the images of his targets on it. He realized that he cannot get close to Sei Jun because he is still weak. He knows that Sei Jun will only have an interest in him once he is powerful. He removed one of the images on his board and said that he will use this method to bring some attention to himself. At the Phoenix Guild building, Wu Jin tells one of the managers that he would like to enter the Orc Hunter dungeon. The manager and his assistant were shocked to hear this. The assistant manager asked Wu Jin if he wants to enter the dungeon to redeem himself because of the rumors about him. Wu Jin did not understand what he was talking about. He told the assistant manager that he wants to enter the dungeon because he needs money. The manager was shocked to hear this. He told Wu Jin that while money is good, life is more important. He told Wu Jin that he can help him secure a loan if he really needs money. Wu Jin declined the manager's offer. He told the manager to not worry about him and just get the date for him to enter the dungeon. Wu Jin was surprised to hear that a bad rumor was spreading about him. He was happy that a rumor was spreading because most people will not want to partner with him and he can now do things on his own. After Wu Jin left the building, the assistant manager told the manager that the rumors about Wu Jin seems to be true. The manager dismisses this idea and tells his assistant that rumors are simply rumors. He asked his assistant about the dungeon Wu Jin wants to enter. His assistant told him that after John Yong Gyu's group was annihilated, no one has conquered the dungeon. The manager asked his assistant about John Yong Gyu. His assistant told him that Yong Gyu is a rising star from Park Yong Wan's faction. While looking down at Wu Jin from his office, the manager said that Wu Jin won't die a natural death if he steps into a dungeon which John Yong Gyu was not able to clear. He told his assistant to provide Wu Jin with enough support. With a smile on his face, Wu Jin said that he will have to join hands with a villain if he wants to kill the hero. The scene shifts and we see Wu Jin arrive at the side of the dungeon. He is greeted by the manager of the dungeon. The manager was shocked to see that Wu Jin came to the dungeon alone. He heard a rumor that Wu Jin was a Scrooge with a dirty personality. He assumed that this was the reason Wu Jin was not able to form a team with anyone. He could not believe that Wu Jin really wanted to enter the dungeon on his own. Of course, he did not really care if Wu Jin dies or survives. When Wu Jin stepped into the dungeon, a status window appeared in front of him. The system told him that the dungeon is a C rank dungeon and it is for level 13 and below. Wu Jin knows that a C rank dungeon could be too much for his level but he is certain that he can change his situation if he summons an undead to assist him. He brought out his sword to prepare. Immediately, he brought out his sword. An orc attacked him from behind. Wu Jin dodged the attack by moving in between the orc's legs. He attacked the orc's leg. Unfortunately for him, he was only able to leave a mark because an orc's skin is too thick for it to be cut easily. With a smile on his face, he realized that he will die if the orc is able to land an attack on him. He is certain that he will have a chance at clearing this dungeon if he is able to kill this orc and turn it into an undead. The orc attacked Wu Jin with its huge stick. Wu Jin dodged the attack but a stone hit him and made a cut on his face. He moved to the back of the monster and began to attack its leg. He made several cuts on the monster's leg at a crazy speed. When he was done, he moved away from the monster. The orc did not understand why Wu Jin left it alone. Before it could make another move, its leg fell apart and the orc fell. Wu Jin told the orc that a monster who has lost its legs is no longer powerful. Immediately he said this, he killed the orc and summoned an undead soldier. Guys, we have come to the end of our video. 
If you guys want part 3 of this video, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button for more recaps. See you guys later.